Folks, welcome back to Nightcap. This week, we're revisiting an issue that I brought up in other conversations, basically focusing on the image of women in culture. And we sit with Brianna, the star of the new reality show on Oxygen, Sisterhood of Hip Hop. And basically, you know, we address the use of the B word in one of her songs, and that's the word I, I detest, you know? And, and Brianna had an interesting take on her reason for using the word and how she implemented it into the culture. And, 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 and I'm curious to see what you guys think. So the question is, when a, the topic of female empowerment is really heavy in the news, my question is, are we empowering the physical or the mental? Stay tuned for the conversation. I'll be right back to address just that. Just real people, real combo. I'm Peter Bailey, and after my talk with Mike Tyson, I headed west to Miami's Poor Boy Studios to share a nightcap with Brianna Perry. The Carroll City native discussed her new reality TV role in Sisterhood of Hip Hop, finding her voice in Miami and defining female empowerment. Brianna, how you doing? Good. So happy to share a conversation with you. I'm, I'm always happy to share a conversation with an artist or public persona from Miami. Mm -hmm. And I want to elaborate upon that a little bit. People say that New York, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Yeah. I moved from New York to Miami. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, <laughs> I think it's Miami. <laughs> Definitely. This is one of the hardest towns to gain a voice in and have people respect that voice. Absolutely. It's, you started, I think you were nine on Trina's Domino's. Yes. Explain, really, let people really understand, really, Miami's a place you have to earn people's trust, value, and appreciation. Yeah, Miami is definitely a city where you have to earn your respect. You have to work for everything. Nothing is given. I, it's so crazy to me. Like, I, I travel and I go and I see other places, mm. and I watch how people from the same city, how they interact, and I see the unity. Mm. And um, I love being from Miami. I'm so proud of my city. I, I think it's so beautiful. We have so much raw talent here, which is incredible. But when it comes to the city coming together and shining love and light on our own, yeah. you just don't have that here. No, we don't. But, you know, I, I have to shout out to the people who are from here, and they've always shown me love ever since I was even younger than nine yeah, years old. Yeah. Katrina's, who I love yeah. dearly, who's been riding for me since that point, the Trick Daddies. Yeah. And... Um, you know, even the Rick Rosses and just mm -hmm. everybody going back to like the Uncle Luke's and the Briscoes and the E classes, but yeah. it's a it's another side of people. <laughs> no, and, it's, it's, um, it's different. They 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 hop on you when everybody else is on you. Yeah. I, I've never. And that and that, that psychology in Miami, I think it's funny because Miami right now is the epicenter of pop culture. Mm -hmm. If you think about it. Yeah. The most powerful labels are based there. People come here, people embrace her, but the people in Miami itself, the talent, I don't think is... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if it's just that much going on into the city mm. where everybody is the star. They're, they're so... It's a self, star complex yeah, almost. They're, they're, so self, they're just consumed in their self mm -hmm. that maybe they don't have the time to show support. But mm. I always, um, you know, and even shout out to Iceberg, I always try to just... Mm. embrace others who are talented whether they're from my city or not yeah. and just be be genuine and mm -hmm. be real because I've been grinding for a long time and I know what it feels like to feel love from somebody else and you know get that respect so hey in a in a in a culture today where instant gratification today artists and musicians and anyone with a with a certain passion the destination is glorified Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of spotlight placed on the end, the butter, the, yeah. the, 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 the red carpet, the, 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 the listening parties. Mm -hmm. The journey is not highlighted. Yeah. That's why um, I love that I signed up to be a part yeah. of the Sisterhood of Hip Hop, mm -hmm. which airs um, on Oxygen every mm -hmm. Tuesday at 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And um, I feel like so many people, they were, they were yet to hear of a Breonna Perry yeah. or to hear a Breonna Perry record. So I just got you know, the opportunity to be exposed to so many and for people to hear my music, but also tap into me as an individual yeah. and see my struggle and see my, my grind and my journey with being signed to Po' Boy Music Group and yeah. also Atlantic Records and 
having my mother as my manager and just so many other mm -hmm. elements of my life, like being a student at the University of Miami. And you just graduated, right? Yes, in May. Congrats. So um, thank you. What did you study? Business and economics. Okay, okay. Um, so just for people to be able to understand who Brianna Perry is, okay. outside of being just an artist, I love that I was blessed with that opportunity mm -hmm. with Sister of Hip Hop. And, and, and I'm a, I'm a, I, I want to get into that. Mm -hmm. And I'll just be quite honest. I've taken a task, the issue of the culture mm -hmm. and the way our women in particular are portrayed. Yeah. And I'll be very transparent with you. I, I don't watch reality shows. Mm -hmm. When I heard about your show, I was intrigued mm -hmm. because what I get from you, Brianna, is I don't like labels <laughs> because labels are a way to put people in a box and control you and stamp you and package yeah. you and set you off. Mm -hmm. What I get from you, a young lady, very attractive young lady, black Thank woman you. from Miami that has the energy, the sass, the style, the passion, the vivaciousness, but has a touch of intellect and class. Thank you. <laughs> how, how do you navigate that reality when, let's really be realistic, the <laughs> culture and the masses is saying ratchet is what sells? <laughs> it, I, I feel like that's definitely being so drilled into our heads. And mm. I've always just been a firm believer of staying true to who you are and staying mm. true to yourself because everyone out there isn't saying that. I feel like it's so mm. many girls who are just like me, mm. like just like me, who went to school, you know, are fighting to get their degree. They have a talent or they have a skill or they just have a place where they see themselves in life and yeah. they've wanted that their whole life and they're just fighting for that, whether they're artists or not. And I feel like so many people can relate to that. They want to be real and win. Like you can log on to Instagram or you can turn on a reality a reality show and mm. you see so many people conforming yeah. and, and they're scared to be themselves yeah. because Nowadays, like being who you truly are, you, you, you might not get the spotlight or, or the shine mm -hmm. that you want. So I'm just here to just show people that real can still win. And it's so many other girls out there like me. So my voice is theirs. And um, I love that I've been given the platform that I've been given. And uh, that, no, <laughs> I, 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 I like what you said about your truth. I think all of us have a truth. Mm -hmm. I think if you look at the people who in this world are very successful, mm -hmm. they got their following theirs. Yeah. But for some reason, they have the masses trying to conform to a particular truth. Mm -hmm. On the show, stereotypically, it's just the stereotypes. Black women, if they're going to get together, they can't get together empowered and unified. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What has your take been so far with your? It's it's been interesting. Um, I'd say that, uh, interesting to say the least, mm -hmm. you really you really have to tune in and watch the show because it's a great show. You have five different you know, MCs. We all have the same common goal, but we're all so different. Yeah. We come from different backgrounds. We all have different journeys, but we're learning how to coexist because we all have this one passion mm -hmm. and it's for music. But um, it, it's been interesting because then you have, it's reality too. Like, you can put five people in a room together yeah. and naturally, I don't care if they're a female, <laughs> they're Just female by nature. Or, or male, by, be by nature it may yeah. be a yeah. bump of heads, but I think the beauty in it all is saying, okay, how are they gonna deal with this? Yeah. And uh, I think that's more of the issue because just naturally as human beings, we're, we're not gonna agree with everything. Yeah. Everybody has a different view, different opinion. So um, I love that about the show though. You see women, we all have different ways of thinking yeah. and um, we just, we really work it out. And I think TV hasn't seen this. No, <laughs> I, um, I think your music is so bold. <laughs> I had a bone to pick with you, oh, but geez. then I did my research and realized your intellect, you flipped it. Yeah. That song, I'm okay. that bitch. Be um, since we're, since Give me the acronym, I, exactly. I, I'm that beautiful, intelligent, mm -hmm. tough chicken hills. <laughs> the word is, a, I think just, just being an artist, like you have mm. the freedom to just do whatever you want to do when you get in, when you get in the, um, the booth and in the studio. Mm. And that's really what I wanted to do with that, with that record. I feel like I challenged myself in two ways, and I've never, I've never told anyone this, but just even the style of the style of music and the style of yeah. song. I had never released anything like that. So that was new for me. And then just really 
being in your face, letting you know that I'm that bitch mm. was was a little crazy. And the word is used so so commonly. I, I'm I'm I mean bro, I'm I'm tired of the word. You know, tired of it. And I, I'm tired just, of it. I just wanted to elevate it for the women who do use it. Um, mm. and so take it. so you know what's funny? I'm gonna ask you a question and. I would, I'm a very honest person, uh-huh. as you can tell. I hope you, I hope you can appreciate that. Yes. When I have artists that sit with me and I'll ask like a gangster artist or rapper, mm-hmm. and they sing about dope dealing or whatever, they'll say, well, Peter, that's my story. Some of the times I think it's sincere, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, a story isn't, you don't, you don't wake up and sell drugs all day. Mm-hmm. So I think with some people, they're disingenuous when they say that. I wish some people would say, well, you know what, Peter? This ratchet, dope dealing thing, it makes mm-hmm. money. <laughs> it's making me money, and that's why I'm singing it. Mm-hmm. So I'm asking you, soulfully and honestly, yeah. that acronym and that breakdown, is that something that you just, ge- or is it something that, well, Peter, yeah. that sounds good to tell me? In its entirety, that's me. I, I have it, I have little stickies. I don't know if you watch Being Mary Jane, I have stickies around my mirror and I have a sticky that says, I'm that bitch. Wow. Because I, every everything that I utter, like I'm just not here to just sell dreams to people. I just, mm. I try to speak my truth. The word is used, you're yeah, right. I, I, I try to speak my truth to people and I, I try to tell women that it's okay to be in charge. You don't need a man for anything. You can take care of yourself and you can be fly while you're doing it. You can be, oh, you can be the boss. So if you really, you really break down you break really it down. down the lyrics. Okay, bro. You know what? Let's have it's, that. We're going to have that male-female <laughs> conversation because it's funny. Uh-huh. We're living in a reality right now mm-hmm. where so many, I don't know, a lot of women, I think it's, we don't need a man. Mm-hmm. Is that what? It, see, I think that healthy partnership is okay. So are you saying, because I value and respect a strong woman. Yeah. But sometimes I think, Brianna, it reaches the point of, is femininity lost? Because femininity is a beautiful no. thing. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't think it's lost. And even in my record, it's because just how a man can use a woman and, and view her as an object, a woman can do, a woman can do the true. same, you know, to true. a man. So it's like you don't need him. That he's not your stability. He's there to be your companion and for mm. love and all of that. But he's not your salary. It that's you exactly. have your own identity. Be your own person. I love for a woman who has her own business. She has her, her own degree. She has her own thing going on. She knows how to open her mouth and speak well and let the room know. Let the room know that a lady yeah. is here and yeah. she's about her business. So, And I just try to flip it in a way that the people who are listening to me, they get it. They get it. They, they understand. It's kind of like putting the medicine in the food. Yeah. Because I realize to reach people on a cerebral intellectual level, mm-hmm. you have to understand. A philosopher said, to clean dirt, you got to get dirty. <laughs> I like that. You know, you, you got you to gotta get dirty as well. And, and I think that, to, to your point, I think we're living in a culture right now where, I say that, we're li- we seem to be living today where we're living in a culture without feelings. No, yeah. Nobody cares anymore. Oh, yeah. It's like chill, a bottom the chill, line. The chill, the chill is gone. It, it's, no, it's no chill. It's like a bottom line. I want this, and I want to get this, uh-huh. and that's it. Yeah. Like, th- th- this is what I want. This is what I'm after. And I think I like what you're doing. I, 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 I see a woman. Mm-hmm. I, I tend to like that because I think, what's your take on this? I turn on the, t- the TV screen, and every time a woman is being pr- promoting a product, music, whatever, she's always naked. Mm-hmm. And a female friend of mine said, well, Peter, no, that's feminism. That's, that's empowerment. And what I feel, may- maybe I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. But I feel that in a way it's flipped chauvinism. Mm-hmm. Because if you're telling me the only part of a woman's reality you can empower is her, is her physical, yeah. you're kind of taking her back to the Stone Ages. Yeah. I, I agree with you. You kind of see what I'm saying a little bit? Because I think sexy is great, but it's naked all the time in front of me. It's yeah. I feel you can, you can be sexy without having to take your clothes off. Exactly. Um, it's so many, I think, other elements to being sexy versus just being completely naked. So I understand you mm-hmm. uh, with that aspect, but What's it's sh- also... Talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me, you're real with me. It, it's also, too, because a man can't do that. So it's just, it's just one of the talents of the woman. That's true. We, I can't just walk around. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know, it's, it's your world, man. Yeah. I, you know what I say all the time? 
Women are the smarter sex. Yeah. We if are, you really we, knew it. We, scientifically, though, we are. Okay, so you didn't have to go with the science. <laughs> I just made an assumption. You, know? you didn't have to go confirm <laughs> what I just us, said. I have us, male, a give, male viewer yeah, you're, you're giving us You're giving us facts right now. So go wow. ahead. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I, I just learned something. <laughs> Brianna, what's a strong woman to you? What is the definition, the epitome of a strong woman? To you? A strong woman. I think one of the strongest women I know would be my mother. Wow. Um, I'm not just saying that because she's you know, here she's, watching <laughs> because she's here but um, she truly is uh, she's you know married to my father she has raising two beautiful kids oh that's so, so you conceited. come from a nuclear family yeah and um, no, that's great she's always just known how to be a provider and she's very bold she doesn't let people run over her she knows how to speak her mind she's mm -hmm. very self-sufficient you know she had a job she knows how to take care of herself whether it's out there in the working world or domestically and i just feel like she wears so many hats mm -hmm. and just has incredible balance and she really mm -hmm. is a superwoman um just being able to handle her own in any setting that's just so strong to me and just mm. so beautiful and she can be just a grimy businesswoman and then she can also you know be elegant and classy so just the her balance, being ever yeah. all those hats that's just extremely strong to me I would I would I would assume your strength comes from a divine power your spiritual person yes, yes. firm saying. believer in God where does God lying and, and keeping you grounded in this odyssey i would definitely say like through my family yeah. um the support system is just so so overwhelming yeah. and um you know i just I, I grew up in church as well but just my family like just yeah. always reminding me like of what's important i'm a minister's <laughs> son i know that yeah it's just always sure. reminding me of, of like what's important and just being true to myself and just always uplifting me and reminding me of my self-worth so I never have to question it or try to look to the world or look to others um, to know like what my worth is. Your Just, validation yeah, comes from within. Yeah, exactly. That, that's a very important thing. I think when people seek validation from anything outside of themselves, mm -hmm. they get lost. Yeah, because the world will trick you. It's a tricky place. It's always changing. You can never please. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah. Finally, me and a buddy, well, me and Chad Johns, we've been having this ongoing debate about monogamy and dating and love and relationships. And his take is that a man is successful mm -hmm. with all these options, with, with all with this candy store to choose from. Mm -hmm. You cannot be faithful. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, I want to ask you, as a woman, mm -hmm. faced with the same temptations, Faced with the same options, faced with the same candy store. It's like you said, I think what you said was very powerful. I think men need to understand women can view them as objects as well. Yeah. Like, like the boy toy, like the yeah. brainless, whatever. What do you say to monogamy and how healthy is it? Because you come from two parents. Yeah. Why do you think a union between, a monogamous union is healthy? <laughs> It's like a million, I could give you a million reasons why. I, because it, it just affects the next generation so much. Um, you have, you know, kids being raised in broken homes and I don't think that the parents, like when they're in the act yeah. <laughs> and all that, they, they really understand what they're doing. I just felt like having both of those parents there in the home, like raising a child together, it's just, it's just so valuable. And well, we see what two parents so, said, <laughs> the product you. of two thank parents. You. But it's so. just so valuable and so key. But um, it probably helps you when you're ready for that commitment because, you know, some people, they aren't ready for it, and they mm. just they can't handle it. They're not mature enough or whatever. But when you, when you are ready for that, it could probably help so much in your life with balance and all that. But everybody's not ready. Everybody's no. not ready for that. Are you it's ready, like, Brown? For, I, it's just you have so much. I feel like in, in my... Um, in my career and, and yeah. what I what I do, you have so many things you have to be committed to, like yeah. the studio and your craft and mm -hmm. traveling so much and mm -hmm. your scheduling gets so crazy. Your filming sisterhood of hip hop and it's releasing crazy. singles <laughs> like I'm that bitch and I have this yeah. new single yeah. that's about to drop. What's it called? Since you left. Since you left. Since you left, and it's. Is that a scorn woman tale? Or? 
Come on. It says you since gotta, you left. You, <laughs> no, you gonna, you're going to stop doing it. You got to wait until I hear it all. You know what I'd you know I, I say? I, I really think I, I give away a lot of my life through my music. True. I really, I, I, I don't see myself doing it in any other aspect of my life but my music. Mm-hmm. Like, you really get a feel for me. This is nightcap. You got to give a little bit here. You, you gave a little bit, bit here on this. <laughs> you give a little bit. Just, just, just a little but bit. since you left, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's BP talking her talk, letting you know about life. I'm and and it's, it's, this, I'm this single, it's, it's really, it's really incredible. It's, it's special, and I can't wait for others to hear it, uh, Po' Boys in Atlantic is excited yeah. about it, so it's gonna be dope. The people gotta, the people gotta stay tuned, man. My Twitter, of course, mm-hmm. Brianna the YRB. My Instagram, Brianna Perry. Mm-hmm. Brianna, I have to ask you finally though, because I believe that musicians speak for the masses. Mm-hmm. Little, you speak for a lot of little girls. Yeah. We've seen this issue with domestic violence, mm-hmm. with the rear rights issue and whatnot. I'm never one to speak on people's personal yeah. matters. That's their love life. That's what they do. But on the topic of women and, and how they're treated, what would you say to women to, to just understand how to be treated? Understand what to demand from a man, or that, that, that partner? Yeah, I've, you, mainly you just, and I, we just talked about this it too. Did. Like, you just always have to know your self-worth. And I think that that's where it all begins. You have to love yourself enough to know that you can't put yourself in certain situations. But even speaking for the male and like the female, yeah. we, we, we're just getting to this point where we're just so wild and crazy. We have to remember that like this is, hum- this is humanity. We're like we're not animals. It's so important to love and respect people, um, especially people that you care about. Yeah. And um, I think we all just need to kind of get back to that. And uh, can you forgive someone in that situation? Because I just think love is about forgiveness. Mm-hmm. I think love is about repair. I think we live in a, a throwaway culture mm-hmm. where I don't like you, I don't like this, so I've had it. I'm, I'm over with it. Yeah. It's like if, if I were, you're saying if I was in that situation yeah. or... Can, can, can you forgive? Well, I won't, you know, and that matter is just so sensitive, so I won't speak on it. Yeah. Um, and I would you know, pray that I'm, I'm never in anything like that. But what I was saying, like, I'm, I'm praying for them and like, they're exactly. changing because their, their life has been um, totally, drastically changed you know. and it's such a private matter that they have to share with the world now. Yeah. So I just, I know it's so crazy, but I would hope that I never have to endure a situation like that, especially for the dude. I, I would hope. Oh, that. shout out to, <laughs> shout out to the people who ride for BP. <laughs> Brianna's music in closing is, it is your testament, like you said. It is your peace. Mm-hmm. This is not going to happen. Mm-hmm. But if you never made music again, thus far, what would, what would that voice be? Wow. What would that voice have given us? I think that that voice would have given you inspiration and, uh, and hope. We're just seeing my growth, um, hearing records from me from when I was 9 to 22 and just seeing uh, all the places that I've been with just my God-given talent and um, really just taking nothing for granted. Um, so it would just, it would give you a lot of inspiration, hope, because I, I take nothing for granted. Every day is a blessing. Nine years old. Nine years old. And it's on, wow. that, that's when I was on, I got in the booth for the first time when I was seven. To wow. have been on Trina's. Um, what motivated you to get in the booth at seven? Just my, my upbringing. <laughs> I, I'm really. What were you rapping about at seven? Oh, my little brother, um, being the flyest kid on the playground, making all A's. When I grew up, I was gonna be a lawyer because that's why I was at mentally riding. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right, right riding with my uncle BB. Uh, rest in peace, G12. We lost him. Yeah, I remember that. that. So, that's, uh, just just being a, a product of my environment, just a hip hop kid. Mm. Uh, you know, shout out to E Class, who was like an uncle to me, and mm. I would always come to Po Boy studios like after school and I was just a little sponge just trying to do what I saw everyone else doing around me and I was always in like um, oratorical contests and like poetry so I was always good like with words and Mm -hmm. wordplay and I just did you find words like an outlet like when I was growing up I would write to create the world I wanted Mm -hmm. not the world that was in front of me so when I when I started (laughs) it's crazy I feel like the when the first time I did it 
my family's reaction and, and people at Po Boy's reaction, they were just so taken back. Like they were just in awe. Yeah. And I love that I impressed them. So when I really started when I was that young, it was just a, a task for me. Like I was just trying to master it because I, I loved that. I wanted that moment every time I opened my mouth. And when I seen like how powerful just putting words oh, together man. could be, and man. then just my passion for it grew, but I just really wanted to master it because that's what I saw everyone like the Rick Rosses and the Briscoes and the Flow Riders doing around me. It was like, nah. I can, oh, I'm good at this? Let's get it. <laughs> I like that. Brianna, you're getting it. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much you. for the conversation. <laughs> Folks, I hope you guys enjoyed that conversation. And I appreciated Brianna's honesty on the topic. And I'll reiterate the use of the B word I'm totally against, to each his own on that dis discussion. Has female empowerment, has it been lost in translation? And I'll say this in closing. The physical is an easy sell. The mind takes all the work. It takes a, a love and appreciation of womanhood beyond the assets. Until next time, it's love and live. Just real people, real combo.